Hi. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear, loud and clear. <laughs> oh, and now I missed you, come okay. again. How are you doing? I'm doing, I'm really like ah, uh, excited and nervous at the same time. Like, and also like I've been having very, uh, a high level of anxiety recently for, because of our project where I'm sleeping just like four to five, six tops hours a day. And I'm like running, running, running. So now just like the technology with the phone trying to get in touch with you was like already stressing me out. I'm like, calm down, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but it's nice, it's nice. I'm so glad and flattered that you invited me in this uh, interview because uh, to be quite honest, I didn't, you know, I don't know. I didn't expect it. I didn't uh, think I was ready, worthy. <laughs> Everyone's work, of course. Thank you. <laughs> you know how our, in our work we call it, are you human enough? It's not are you good enough, it's not are you worthy. Are you human, yeah. Human enough, you're nervous, you're stressed, great. Yes. <laughs> Where are calling us from, Davide? I am, uh, right now I'm in Switzerland and this is where, exactly where I'm from and where I live and where I grew up. Yeah. Which part, I didn't know you were from Switzerland. Which part of Switzerland are you from? I'm from the Italian part, uh, so I speak Italian, yeah, makes sense. But I do speak Swiss German and uh, as well, so yeah. Great. Did you know that I have done some things with Switzerland and that I have a Swiss husband? A Swiss what? A Swiss husband. Oh, I, no, I, did, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. My husband's a Swiss actor. So you, you may have bumped into him in the past. You never know. Um, no. Great. So uh, we're going to talk about your experience and your um, journey into resetting yourself to be free. So when did you start being an actor? Let's start before resetting yourself. Um, I have this vague mem memory of me being a kid and saying that I wanted to be an actor, but maybe it's just a construct of my imagination. Uh, later on, I started, yeah, I went to Waldorf Steiner School, which is a more, let's say, artistic type of school, already more freedom in that sense. Uh, and so I was, uh, I had my encounters on stage with acting, let's say, very, very at a early age, and I you know, immediately felt that uh, I had fun with it. Uh, and I, I remember clearly making the thought of, um, if this show, the, the show I had that year, um, I mean, not this year at the time I, as a kid, I said to myself, if, if the show is going to be successful as a school project, I'm going to be an actor. And so it was successful. I had fun. And, and so I decided. Great. Yeah. Great, great. And so how, for how many years did you act before starting to do this work that we did together? I've, I've been on stage. So I went to physical theater school. Um, so a lot of, uh, you know, anything that has to do with performing arts, but also very physical, dancing, acrobatics, uh, clown, slapstick, and, and whatever, you name it. Um, and I graduated from this school uh, more than 10 years ago. So since then, I've been on stage for circus shows, musical, cabaret, and all this performing arts, uh, which has been a lot of fun. Um, but in the meantime, I always wanted to research the acting, the film acting that I didn't get in school, because we had a lot of pantomime and, and very like, not, yeah, very different, let's say. I, I don't want to say worse or, or anything, but like very different approach to acting. And I was missing the, 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 the how to, I, I love cinema. I've always loved cinema. I've always created, you know, films with my camera and stuff like that. Uh, so I really wanted to get closer to the acting world, film acting world. And, uh, um, but I needed something. I needed a, I needed a, needed a path. Uh, so I started, you know, buying all those Eric Morris books and reading those, you know, stop acting, whatever. Um, going to master classes around the world, uh, paying a lot of money, which, yeah, wasn't sustainable. 
So in one way, those classes and those books were very, very inspirational. And yes, oh, I could be this great actor. They were selling me a dream somehow, those, those master classes. And, but then giving you a kick, a high in the moment of the class, meeting lots of people and being like, oh, wow, this is beautiful. But then going back home and being like, I, I have to be happy. I have to be fantastic. Where is my, I am, I'm positive. Yeah. But, uh, and I couldn't deal with my negative sides, my, 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 my negative uh, whatever emotions um, and feelings. So the hard way I learned that oh, I have to acknowledge my negative, my all the, the bad, the sticky. And I came to the conclusion, conclusion that... Call it yeah. bad, right? In our work, we just call it your other human aspects. There's the fun... Exactly. Sticky ones, but they're not bad. They're not wrong. They're not even negative. They're just... Exactly. But I had just... I was just slowly understanding this, uh, you know, let's say typical American, if I may say so, uh, be positive mentality that that was actually was killing me. So I slowly started my vague, very vague reset on my own, trying to, I need something else. I need fresh air. Mm -hmm. And once I came across uh, your ads on Instagram, I was like, what's going on? What's that? What's that? What's that? I was like, because you, it's funny because you were like really funny and like, I, I, I can't remember what you said or which video it was, was, but you were like not at all selling something. You're like, um, I uh, come to that masterclass and la, 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 la. And it was very, very authentic. And I felt like I was with you in that moment. It, I guess, I guess it works. I don't know. <laughs> and so I was pretty much hooked, but you know, you leave these things on the side a couple of times. So, you know, Instagram has a way of reminding you. <laughs> and, um, and at the end of the day, I reached out to you. We, we, and that also helped. Um, I made some questions. And so you, 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 I, I had no doubts to start my journey. Um, and I don't regret it. It's, 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 uh, I was, to have felt, because I, I love how you are sharing your experience, right? So you got into the performance world with all of those techniques, those physical techniques, and then you got into the American movie business. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, exactly. The world and doing all the master classes with all the gurus, which is definitely about selling you a dream and being positive and all that. It's inspiring yeah. for sure. Yeah. about acting, hear interesting stories and you being an actor has nothing to do with those stories or with like, being positive for sure so having done all of that and realizing that there was a part of you that wasn't invited to the show and that didn't work then you meet this work you're like oh okay maybe this is the structure i need to, to get to the real me how how was the journey of actually meeting all your parts and hanging out with them was that uh, tricky difficult or was that yeah it's it, it still is you know i i'm for those who don't know i i haven't finished the journey i'm i'm still working on it um and i guess the journey isn't finished even after it's finished uh but <laughs> uh but what uh, but yes um i i struggled very hard i i, I can say like it, it's been it's been I had to go through a lot. I realize now, I can say it now, but when I was in it, I didn't know what, what was happening, but I was going through like a dense, thick wall of frustration. Frustration of being 32 years old and still like, am I an actor? I, am I worthy? Can I, can I do it? Can I be like my idols, you know? Am I good enough? Um, and all that stuff. So... A lot of frustration. I'm tired also as a human being. I'm tired because I've all my life I've, I've been running, running, running to achieve things. Um, and so, so after a year of doing the reset, uh, now I feel much, much, much more grounded. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell you I still, I'm still frustrated at times or whatever, but I'm very more grounded with the work. Um, it's much more easy to, 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 uh, 
show up every day and go deeper into the work. And I start seeing results in a way. I, I, my problem because of my frustration and, and being so tired, I wanted results fast and big. And I still want them. I still want them. Um, but it takes time. And maybe it takes more time for me. Um, I, I, I guess, you know. Yes. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's really different from, for everyone. Everyone has a different journey. Everyone has a different rhythm. You know, I've seen people who have written me messages saying they've done two days and haven't stopped booking since and could never come back to the reset, which is not you. Yeah. And then I've, I've <laughs> said, you know, I've done it eight times because I needed to go back and go deeper and deeper and deeper. So it really yeah. doesn't mean um, one is better than the other. It, you know, the person who did two days or one week or whatever and never stopped booking since might fall flat on their face, not because they did something wrong, but out of doing all the work and might then come back to their reset and go, wait a minute, I was going to go deeper inside of me. I want to do that again. And, and you know, sometimes who's, someone who's doing it eight times in a row might start booking Zen and, and never look back. So it really, it really, there's no right or wrong. There's no better or worse. You are where you are and it's perfect and your frustration is perfect and you know you now know how to use it and how to be with it it's not about becoming better you're great and if you can be with that then yes the results show because you show <laughs> you show up yeah. yeah so it was it was challenging for you it's uh, it it is challenging it's been very challenging uh now i feel i have much more uh um as i was saying i i'm more grounded in a way and i can yeah i it, like let's for for example let's take an example uh monologues just even the words of mo saying monologues uh, a year back a monologue oh oh my god what is it what what can i do how do i do it like can i learn the lines oh my god and now it's like yeah Let's do a monologue, another one, because I've done so many in a year, and 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 um, and it's and it's fun to work on those monologues, and 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 uh, while I work on them, I also start having more of those moments, uh, moments that uh, you have the a special take where you go like, whoa, what was that? Um, whether it's practice on myself or on set, I have, I start having, I call, yeah, I call them those moments where, where, um, we all also talked about recently I was on set and that, and then, and then I was overwhelmed by emotions, feelings, and impulses that I didn't expect that did, I didn't know how to like, I wanted, of course I wanted to play a scene in that direction, but uh, it just happened. I wasn't playing somehow. And, um, and these things have uh, happened more often. That's, that's a sign for me that, that, uh, that it's working, it's simply put. And, um, yeah, and, and when I, I guess working, it really what you're saying is you are working because there is no yeah. – setting yourself is not a technique. It's not a method. It's not, I'm not teaching anything. It's really yeah. uh, spending some time to come back to you – and when you are you, when you show up as you, you're there, you're present. And that's what mm -hmm. it's, it works to be present when you're not present. And when you're trying to be someone else or behave or be confident and look good and all of that, you're not there. So it cannot work because you are not there. Like the, the instrument, it is not there. It's not present. Yeah. It can't work. So yeah, it's, um, I, I like how you're talking about those moments and in comparison to, you know, the panic and the stress and nerves of what you had before, you can still have very human feelings uh, and you're having those moments of pure presence, of fun, of really being there. Yeah. Yes. I, I guess that like uh, before we even talk about acting, um, I feel that something else has changed my my feeling on set or with the idea of getting a job the idea of having to do a monologue as i said but i get let's say i get a job tomorrow of course i'm going to be stressed and scared and everything but i feel all right 
let's start the work. Let's do it. And I am present and, and, and I can really see a, a, a good example is like I had to play the same scene. I showed you the scene. I had to play the same scene twice, mm -hmm. but in the beginning of the journey and the same, and I played the same scene again at the end, like recently, not at the end of the journey, but recently. And uh, there's a huge different, mm -hmm. let's forget about the acting. Also there, there's a different, but the end results, but the, my presence on mm -hmm. set, my feeling on set, I was confident. I was uh, yes, I was nervous and scared as well, but I was present to the people and I was able to focus on many things. And in, in, in the back of the head, I was continuing the work with the, with the character. And when it was time to play, I took my moment and then I, we played a couple of scenes, one, two, three takes, and that's it. And no, no take was, you know, like bad in a sense, right? Every take was its own. Yeah. Uh, and, yep. and it was okay, like two, three takes, and we move on. Okay, done, next. The I, and explaining, David, is also, it's important for you. So, of course, you're going to have, you know, the nerves and the, the fear of the moment, like, that every performer has before giving a concert or doing a play. Like, there's a adrenaline that comes. But... Before res resetting yourself, you will loop into that fear. You'll be afraid of being afraid and it will become a block and it will block you from being present because you're going to be afraid of feeling the nerves. When you reset yourself, what you're reminded of and what you come back to is your pure humanity, like when you were a child. So, yeah, I'm afraid, I'm angry, I'm frustrated, I'm sad, I'm happy, like I'm human. Like kids don't analyze their feelings they just feel their feelings right so uh, what you're having now is your capacity to still be david in your very unique way you have your nerves and your frustration and your fear before a scene or whatever uh, and that changes every day but you're not adding the block on it you're not adding the judgment on it you're not like no oh fuck i'm afraid i shouldn't be afraid because then you go into your ego and you're no yeah. longer yeah now you just yes. afraid. work with it. You work with that energy, which is very different than block. Yes. Because when yes. you block that energy, then you block your whole instrument. You're no longer practicing. Yes. You kind of. And a, and a huge chunk, I can, a huge chunk of the struggle of acting. Acting almost became like a burden of like, acting is heavy, is, 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 it's painful. It's like so hard to play one seat and get one drop of, a little emotion or something what that one good take cost me like ah, a huge amount of effort and the result is actually actually worse than now you know worse in terms of whatever but <laughs> compared to now whereas I'm like actually less effort yeah more relaxed in tune of whatever is going on and the result one could say is actually you know you know, better. We know. I know we don't like to say better, but you know what I mean. No, no, but and why we and now can talk about not definitely. Um, it's. I'm missing you a little bit. I have lost. I have lost some of your dialogue. Uh, There's some. Is it the mic? Is it something? I don't know. What is? Um, unplug your. Head. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me. Let's try again. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah, that stopped. Um, yeah. The what was I saying? Yes. There's no more efforting out of what you have there's just a lot of actors that are reset talk about the ease because you're no longer acting you're just being there and you know being the character so it's it's there's no there's no effort to make it charges you right the the heaviness that you talk about a lot of actors say even when they're working a lot and they're successful and they come in our community and they tell me like i'm so exhausted like even yeah. if all the time suffering i'm in so much pain when i'm acting i'm, I'm depleted yeah. 
and then they reset and go back to their truth and therefore acting is charging you when you're really yeah. acting doesn't deplete you it fills you up because it's your art it's your passion it's supposed to feel great it's not yeah i was i was surprised very surprised the other day two days ago i told you i'm like stressed out for our our project right now mm -hmm. and working little hours or long hours whatever and and then i was like okay should i should i work should i do the the, the work we do my workouts and and then of course i did because i show up <laughs> and and it was incredible how i exploded of energy like i was like tired angry frustrated whatever everything you know like uh and then i just like okay working working out acting working out became in the past couple of um, uh, weeks became the relaxing moment the fun moment the my pause from the work you know yeah. and, and 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 that was like I, i was like really like dancing around and and shouting and and doing all the stuff that we do <laughs> that i do and it was like holy shit what's going on you know that that was fun you are good. Uh, happening is that you you are there and when you're when you're not you know um surrendering to what's there you're forcing something else and that's tiring yeah i like that i like that i'm happy that you gave yourself the you know the the you gave yours you you i'm going to have to close that <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> this is my this is my first live Instagram by the way ever. It feels like my first every single time because I never know how to use it. But um uh, no, I'm glad yeah. you boss um you know um uh, the work we do and and how we want to help actors all actors like really be themselves. so that um yeah you can tell stories that are more impactful you can be more fulfilled when you act and it's just helpful for everyone that's nice yeah uh, i'm I'm, you... i'm looking forward to yeah sorry no no go ahead you were looking forward to what i'm looking forward to um to really going deeper into the journey because um uh, Yeah, I because I did the journey and then I started again um and and now I feel like I'm I'm you know sto galoppando in italiano so I'm I'm going like I'm I feel unstoppable. Of course, of course I I you know yesterday I was like fuck I don't want to do it. But still still I feel like I I'm 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 going. It's 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 going somewhere and and, and it's fun and and I'm looking forward to to going deeper and and uploading those yeah, making those monologues and 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 scenes and uh, and more and getting booked you know yeah. how about that <laughs> great that'd be nice thank you so much for sharing your experience um david is there anything you want to add for anyone watching who doesn't really understand the work we do who who is having doubts about what is this thing it's like the opposite of what everyone else is saying should i do this um for me for me it's like of course you you should do it um there's no question there if i would talk to myself a couple of months back i would do like two years well, one year back whatever i would kind of say that um keep in check your expectation <laughs> just like take it take it easy uh, a little bit you know uh and and uh but at the end of the day keep doing what you're doing anyway but maybe for someone who's starting out and is is in my similar situation where it's like ah fuck what am i doing it's like so frustrating uh, i'm nowhere it it feels like climbing the mount everest uh well and uh, i guess it in a way it is climbing the mount everest but it's uh, uh so for me i can speak for myself anything else has if this is the mount everest then the rest is like you know 10 mount everest is you never going to get there somehow it feels like impossible to to go further and here it's like 
it, it didn't, let's put it this way. As soon as I started, for me, it was clear that, okay, this is my path. I found my way to where, uh, my way to work. Mm -hmm. Easy, hard, fun, uh, good, bad, whatever. But I was sure about it. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I guess that's yeah something I can say. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing yourself authentically. Thank you for being just you. And um, I'm glad that our paths crossed and um, that you're completely engaged and committed into the work. And I can't wait to see more. Thank you, Joe. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.